0411 and welcome back to my channel. I have already kicked off this video. Today we're going to focus on moisture. Moisturizing your hair and letting it sit. Okay? So we're going in with As I Am. I have shampoo with, and condition with the As I Am Restore and Repair Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. And both of these have Jamaican black castor oil, vitamin C, and vitamin E in it. Very moisturizing. Very moisturizing. And it doesn't take much to lather up. And it doesn't take much on the conditioner for you to feel the moisture in your hair. Boo. Now, you're probably wondering what this is. This is an Evolve Deep Conditioning Cap. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because I went in with Queen Helene. And this is the super cholesterol, right? After you shampoo and towel dry your hair, you're supposed to let this sit on your hair for 15 to 30 minutes, which I'm at my 30 minute point, so I'm about to go rinse this out. Remove towel cap, rinse thoroughly, and style as usual. So this here, you see how much I have used. When I don't have a deep conditioner for the line, this is what I go to, to make sure I have some moisture in my hair. So I have that in my hair for right now, and we're going to go in and moisturize our hair with my own made up, because I ran out, my own made up Jamaican black castor oil water, and it is warm because I'm low porosity. So we're going to open up those hair strands, and I'm going to go in with the, black, the Jamaican black castor oil smoothie, all right? Now, with the smoothie, it has the same thing, Jamaican black castor oil, vitamin C, and vitamin E. And those things are good and important for hair strength and growth. Want to stick to that. We're going to seal that in with some vegetable glycerin. And a little goes a long way with this. And I was going to be using this my Jane Carter solutions, but it's time to ante up on it. So I'm about to go rinse out this Queen Helene and come back and we're going to put our hair up in a protective style. Guys, I have already separated my hair back and front. We're going to go in, and I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but we're going to go in with some leave-in conditioner. My hair is very moisturized. <laughs> That Queen Helene, it does the job, and it does it well. Do you hear me? It does the job, and it does it well. That's why I don't always have to get a deep conditioner, because I know as long as I got this big tub sitting here, all is going to be well. So now I'm applying the leave-in conditioner to my hair. And the back section is going to be twists, and I'm going to try to put some flat twists in the front, kind of going to the sides. So that's the plan. That's the plan. I'm just going to go ahead and add the product and the vegetable glycerin to this section. So with this smoothie, this smoothie is a thick smoothie. It's very creamy and thick. So, it's not going to take much. And this is going to air dry. It's not going to take much. And it's going to air dry. So, I'm going to work this into this section. And then... I'm going to add the vegetable glycerin, which is another thing that doesn't take much. And it's pretty much quarter size. And that gives it some shine as well. Now remember, I'm not sitting on the dryer. No, 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 no. We're going to let the hair rest from the dryer for a minute. 
We're going to let the hair rest from the dryer. I'm just combing through it with my fine tooth comb. Okay. Then I'm going to go up here to the top. Take me off a piece. Split those two pieces. Lay that part down. Grab the rest of my hair, hold it in my hand, and part it with my finger. And this is the edge, so it don't take much. So that's one flat twist. So I sealed it in with the vegetable glycerin and the cream, so we did the LCO method for low porosity hair. Quarter ends. Okay, get you a piece, separate it in half. Now you can grab the whole section or you can just go and just part with that part hanging down. Sometimes for me, I find it easier if I just grab that whole section. Excuse me, y'all. I decided to leave my door open. So you're going to hear my family in the background. Yes, I do have a family. front of my hair flat twisted and I have the back of my hair in just regular juicy twists and you guys my hair feels so good my scalp feels so good everything feels good 
and I'm about to put a bonnet on my hair, go to sleep with my hair feeling just like this. And it is juicy, so it still got some water in there, which is moisture. And I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to tie it up and get on the cap. No, no, I'm not going to tie it up. I'm just going to get up on a bonnet that's big enough. And I may end up flipping this one because I don't like it showing all my all my gray hair. I know this piece of hair just goes through it. Because I told y'all I learned how to work without it. Because it was a bang. It was a little bitty bang. And I had cut it on accident. But it looks like I'm going to have to have it turned this way. And just blend it in with the rest of it. Just can't hide them gray hairs. I can't hide them, child. I can't hide them. Can't hide them. It is what it is. It's knowledge. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. That's all that is. Years. And my birthday is coming up also. April 11th. Cash App, Real McCoy 411. Feel free. Feel free to Cash App, Real McCoy 411. I'll be 45 years old. Yes, 45 years old. And I still got it. I say I still got it. I will see you guys at Takedown. Guys, I'm back. Two days later, I have this Salon Pro Argan Oil Formula from Morocco Hair Food and Scalp Nourishment. That's what we're going to be using to take down our twist. And you can see they are still juicy. They're still thick, they're still juicy, they're air dried. So, all is well with the twist. I'm going to put some oil on my hands. Glide them down the twist so we can alleviate so much frizz. Frizz, my friends, frizz. Because I can say one of the nights, not the first night, but the night before, I forgot to sleep with the bonnet on. You know how you watching a movie? And you're like, okay, I'm going to sit up in this position. Yeah. Lay down in that position. Went to sleep in that position. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Slept good, too. Slept good. All right, so remember we got flat twists in the front and regular twists in the back. This is that one that I struggled with on which direction I wanted it to go in. Because I'm not good at flat twisting with them going down. I can't even explain it. I can't even explain it. I'm just not that good at it. But that doesn't say that I'm not going to get good at it. <laughs> it's just going to take some practice. So we have a lot of definition here on this flat twist. Hair still feels so moisturized. Feeling really good in my hands. And I'm just taking the flat twist down. And I can still smell the As I Am products in my hair as well. Hmm. You have to choose wisely on which products you use for moisture. Because I didn't want no hard feeling in my, in my head. I just wanted my hair to be soft and rest. Rest from gel. 
rest from moose. I just wanted to rest, so I found a cream. And that was the As I Am smoothie. Definitely got a lot of good definition, guys. You see that? Okay, guys, so I have completely taken down the back. You already know how my twist turned out. Little, little frizzy, but it does have a lot of definition and it is very moisturized. Very moisturized. My hair feels very soft to the touch, it's fluffy. And the flat twists up front, yeah, those are my babies. Those are my babies. Now, I was going to get some gel and slick down these sides. But I don't want anything hard on my hair. I want my hair just to be soft. So... What I'm going to do is just get me a bobby pin. And push that back like that. And push those grays up under there like that. Yeah. So that completes this hairstyle. I actually like the way the flat twists were done. I like the outcome of them. Of course, you know I like the outcome of the twist. The twist always, always never cease to amaze me. So, I'll be going through here and just separating them as the days go by. But this, all you have to do is put up, um, put your hair up in the scrunchie and sleep with your bonnet on. Or when it comes time to refresh it, just mist it with a little water or section make you a big twist and put your scrunchie on it or just make a big twist and curl, coil it at the ends if your ends need to be recoiled. And then that's it. That's how you keep your hair up for about four to five days. It's that simple. A spray bottle, a little water. You may want to add a little more product if you feel the need to. But, and some oil. And that should be it. Now, I'm going to take this here hair food and work it into my scalp. I love oiling my scalp. It's very important to me. I think for hair growth. And just take my fingers and work it in. And that's it. Hair is moisturized. Scalp is moisturized. We are good to go and ready for the next video. So if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. Click on that red subscribe button. And also click on the bell for notifications for when I release new videos on my natural hair journey. So feel free to watch my older videos so you can see how far I've came. And just sit back and enjoy and continue with me as I go on this journey for healthy and longer hair and right now i am at healthy and longer hair and i want to keep going i want to see just how long i can grow my hair when i started this journey it was nothing like this it was nowhere near this and I have been on this journey now for 
two two years. It's coming up on two years that I've been on this journey. And I take care of my hair. I keep my scalp moisturized. I keep my hair moisturized. I use the LCO method for liquid leave-in uh, cream, gel, and then an oil and seal it in. And I always, I just can't express it enough. I do scalp massages all the time. I can be, I just do this or when I'm in the shower and I shampoo, I have my shampoo brush in the shower with me and I just go in on my scalp and just make sure my, that blood is circulating in my scalp so I can have a healthy scalp. I don't deal with any dandruff. I don't deal with any dry scalp. I don't deal with itching. And I really do believe it contributes to how I take care of my hair. Some people can't help but have dandruff, but some people can help it. And then it starts, and I think it's because you're not taking care of your scalp the way you're supposed to. So that's just me. That's just how I feel. Some people can't help it. It's just part of their genetics. But if you have a healthy scalp at one point and then you stop taking care of it and then you go back and it's dandruff and dry and itchy and you haven't been taking care of your scalp. So take care of your scalp. That's where the hair comes from. And take care of the ends of your hair. That's where the hair stops and that's the oldest part of your hair. So take care of your scalp and take care of the ends of your hair and the strands will be taken care of in between. Okay? So keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Alright? Alright.